So today uh, I'm going to show how to make ponzu sauce. So first I'm going to introduce the ingredients. Uh, here is a rice vinegar and soy sauce. And here is a mirin and a carrot, which is called uh, dashikobu. And then bonito flake. And then and here is a rice, uh, rice vinegar, mitsukan bran. And then this is a mirin. And then this is for uh, option. Uh, this is a user juice. Also, you can use the lemons as type of citrus. And this is a hondashi. If you cannot find the uh, bonito flake, you can use a hondashi instead. So ponzu sauce. A lot of people actually uh, for the restaurant people ask about the ponzu sauce uh, used for the uh, sushi or sashimi. Uh, most unregular soy sauce people favorite uh, ponzu. <coughs> so also you can find the uh, pre-made the ponzu sauce at the store too. But uh, ponzu sauce ingredients which is, I, I show you very very easy to make at the home. So let's try make. So all the ingredients actually <coughs> mix into the bowl. That's the only thing. You don't need to do a special uh, technique. Okay. Okay. Okay, here is a 500 cc uh, rice vinegar here. 500 cc vinegar. It's about two cups. And it looks like 16 ounces as well, huh? Yeah, almost 16 ounces. Okay. Yeah. In the container. And then here is I have a 400 cc of the uh, soy sauce. Uh, this is anyway uh, regular soy sauce. Okay into the container and then here is a 50 cc mirin into the container mirin is basically like a rice wine right yes okay so after that i'm going to add a bonito flake And how much bonito flakes? So I'm gonna use uh, 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 two of this one. Okay. And then a little bit stirring. And this is, by the way, yeah. about um, five grams. Uh, yes, this is 5 grams. Okay, so 10 grams so of 10 grams. Right. Okay. And then add the uh, dash cup in here. Okay. Okay. And then just keep it up. And then this one you can keep in the cooler uh, this overnight uh, to two days. Then after you're gonna strain up and take it out to the um, bonita flake and dash cup after strain up. Then so mm -hmm. you can keep in the kukura. So the best thing is to wait two days and then use it? Yeah, two days to three days. Okay. Yeah. Because you get all the flavors of the mm. dasha kombu as well as the right. paneer flakes. Even actually, it, it doesn't matter. You can keep it in, uh, inside of the... Uh, uh, it's not really, you don't need to take it out. Okay. But uh, of course, you know, when you use it, you try to use it like this, all the paneer flakes coming out. So. I just recommend that straight now. Okay. Mm. All right, very good, Hero. Okay, that's it. Very, very easy. Well, thank you so Home much. Mm -hmm. Thank See you very so much. much.